guys and welcome back to my Mucho Art and Fitness 2017. So I'm starting my year off in Cuba, Villa Ijibaco. Um, this year I decided that, you know, to start the year off, I really, after the year that I had, I don't want to go back on that, but the year that I had, I really wanted to start it off positively. And of course, 29 degrees always helps to put you in a really great mood. Um, if you didn't catch it, I wrote a blog first before doing the YouTube because I wanted to explain that it was my first time that I've left alone. Um, I wanted to write the pros and cons about, you know, leaving by yourself. I had been to already three different countries, but I really wanted to, um, you know, write about what it's like to leave on your own, which was pretty scary uh, before I left on Tuesday morning. So, so far, some of the pros and cons. Um, I didn't pay very much. In Montreal, we're great. We get to go to Cuba and, and you know, Dominican. And if you really want to leave, you can really leave cheaply. So, I only paid $800 for my trip. Now, in all the trips I went to um, Dominican Republic, I usually pay around this amount. So, but this is the first time I was living alone. So, you're supposed to be paying a lot more because you're taking up two spaces for the price of one. So I got here and unfortunately the first room I got was not um, satisfactory. <laughs> I did stay the first night, but because I'm right next to the outdoor where everybody arrives, it was so loud. So today they finally changed my room, yay. Um, like I said, if you're paying 800 bucks, you're not at the Ritz Carlton here. Um, there are pros and cons, like I said, the number one pro so far, three days in a row, beautiful no clouds, 29 degrees. And you're also going to see the beach, which is absolutely uh, one of the best beaches I've seen in three countries because it's so big for such a small little villa. So one of the things I wanted to share this with you is because I think that um, we're very, very lucky to live in Montreal and to be able to visit these places. I mean, I already know some people that live in Montreal that have never been you know, outside of Montreal, which is, you know, it, it's really unfortunate because we're so lucky in this day and age that we can get on a plane and just go to a resort and spend a week there. Like, we take it for granted and we shouldn't because our parents never got to do this or, well, you know, my parents never got to do this and my grandparents never got to do this. They got here. That was about as enough as they could do. So we really are fortunate to be able to have these vacations. And I mean, I'm not one to complain because I, I know the difference between a five-star hotel and a three-star hotel. And this is a three and a half which is exactly what it is. So if you're going, my number one point is, if you're going to go to a three and a half resort, you don't complain about, you know, what everybody complains about, the food and this and that. Like, come on guys, it's a three and a half hotel. <laughs> so there are pros and cons, like I said. The food is not your five-star hotel, obviously, but I'm not picky eater, so I'll pick whatever I like. I'll go for my first dish, pick a few things out, and then I'll go back to for the second dish of everything I like. So I'm really not difficult when it comes to that. Like I said, the room was a little bit uh, a little bit close to everybody, so I was waking up in the morning and I really want to be on vacation, so I really don't want to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. But, so this is my third day. I am going to blog a little bit more. I'm going to Havana. <laughs> I'm going to Havana all by myself um, a bit later on this week, so I'm going to show you that part too. But I do want to show you a little bit about uh, the place to start. So here are my clips and the people I've met so far on my trip in Cuba. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Cuba. Hi. Hola. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I come. All the way from Germany. Say hello to Bob. I come from Stuttgart. <laughs> I'm from Cuba. <laughs> like Cuba. Hey cutie, you're on camera. Smile! Hola! 
I am going to Havana tomorrow. So that either is going to be a vlog all on its own or you'll definitely get some clips of those. about Havana. It was a really great day. I got to see a lot of different parts of Havana. I got to, it's a really different lifestyle here. So it's really nice when you take the time to get to know them. I really wish I would have spent a little bit more time talking to more Cubans, probably just because I would have loved to have known a little bit more about how it is living here. Like I would have loved to sat down with a few that actually have been here their whole entire lives and see really get into the nitty gritty of what it is to live in Cuba. Maybe another time. But um, in general, I had a great week. So I did want to take a minute. Um, I met some really, really great people this week. I had a whole bunch of fun. Um, I didn't think I was going to have that much fun because, you know, when you don't know anybody, but everybody was so nice. And I met so many, like, outgoing, friendly people from all over Canada, Montreal. It was just really, really nice, relaxing. I felt safe. It was... It was really great for the first trip on my own. So I want to take a minute. Thanks for watching. And all the people that were in Cuba with me, thank you for spending the time. And it was really great getting to know you. Because these, these are just too good. Oh, do you want to get the mojito in there too? Oh, yeah. The mojitos too. There we go. Welcome to Cuba. Villa Hibacola. It is divine and wonderful here. You should not. You wouldn't like it. Don't come here. <laughs> it's a really, really great place, but you wouldn't like it. Don't come here. <laughs> Aquí estamos en Cuba. <laughs> Welcome to Cuba. Woo! Hola! Hola! Cuba, hi. Hi. Cuba, hi. Cuba, hi. Cuba. Hola. 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 Y'all going to be on YouTube. Come on. So you just say, welcome to Cuba! Welcome to Cuba! A memory when I'm 70 of where I went to Cuba, so... Welcome to Cuba! Hi! 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 This is the craziest place ever! Oh, God! Is this for me? Oh, it's a serving tray! No, I can't say that, but I mean... Hi! Welcome to Cuba, that would be nice! The last people awake at 11.30! Yeah! See that? No, I'm gonna be like, you know what? This is as exciting as it gets here, so enjoy your evening, cause there's no dancing and we're all screwed. So, eat cake by the ocean. Eat cake by the ocean. Okay, oh, here we go, here we go. Hi, Anne-Marie, you're looking pretty good over there. 
I know it's your last night and you've had a blast this week, so we hope to see you again and come back soon. That's awesome. I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I'm a lot braver than I thought I was. Um, like I said, this is the first time I was leaving alone. But I did learn that I am a lot more sociable than I thought I was going to be. Um, I thought I was, because I'm a little bit more reserved when I don't know people, it's a little bit harder for me to like, you know, start waving to people and, you know, jump into conversations. But I did really well. I mean, I thought I met so many great people from like all over Canada, Montreal, Quebec. Like, I really did. And people were so nice. Like, yeah, hello, hello, everybody's saying hello. And I got to know and have a good time, you know, at the bar, you know. It really, it really was a great way for me to get out of my little, like, thinking of that I'm going to have to, you know, do this all on my own. <laughs> so all in all, it has been a very eye-opening experience. It has been a great temperature. It really does make a difference um, that January in Montreal when you get to take a break from it and you come and get that, you know, 29 degree weather. I'm a little bit more motivated to go back. You know, there's only like six to eight weeks left before, you know, springtime or hopefully springtime arrives. So it really was a nice, relaxing week. I think I chose the place properly because it wasn't a big nightlife. Like, there wasn't big parties. I, I actually didn't even get to dance this week. <laughs> I didn't get to dance. But it, I felt very safe and very comfortable. And I got to meet a whole bunch of great people. So I did hope you enjoyed my little skit on starting my year off positive in Cuba. And I will definitely see you soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, I'm not in any big rush to, you know, start something great or move on to doing something fantastic. I'm just taking it as it comes. So thanks again for watching. Do let me know what you think. You can, you know, say hi, by the way, if you do see it and you were from Cupid, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I will see you soon on my Montreal Art and Fitness. Thanks for watching.